Could you characterize just for a second some of the things that manufacturing did wrong? I mean, I realize that there are a lot of things, a lot of roadblocks that uh, government policies have put on a place to kind of slow down the growth of manufacturing in the United States. But what about the responsibility of manufacturers themselves? What, what's the difference between a good manufacturer and a one that's just sort of hanging on? And <laughs> that, that's a great question. And boy, to have that question here asked at this conference, the answer is obvious. It comes in two words. What do you think they are? Continuous improvement. We took our eye off of the ball. Certainly, American manufacturing must bear some of the responsibility for what has taken place in the last 20 to 30 years. Listen, during the 50s and the 60s, life was good. We couldn't do anything wrong. We were heroes. We must have been really good at what we did because we were so successful. What happens when you lay back and say, boy, I'm really good at what I do. Look how successful I am. You ever play a game, you're a kid, called King of the Mountain? What happens when you take a rest? Everyone tries to knock you off the top. There is no such thing as taking a rest, taking a breather in our businesses. We need to stay focused every day, stay challenged every day, okay? dedicate ourselves to continuous improvement in every aspect of our businesses and our lives, our personal lives. I, I truly believe that. So what responsibility does manufacturing bear in the situation we have today? It's clear. We took our eye off the ball in the 60s, 70s, we were enjoying the good life, and we forgot what it was that got us to the position we were in. I was recently asked to speak at uh, the, the uh, college I was graduated from and asked to speak about leadership in a little bit different direction and asked what I believed made Newcore successful as a company. And my first point was this. You work hard, then you work harder, and then you work harder still. And that's just another way of saying continuous improvement. Every day, every day when you wake up, every day, you need to ask yourselves and your team, okay, what can we do just a little bit better today compared to what we did yesterday? One thing. Now, I would challenge everybody in this room, no matter how great your companies are, Nucor is a phenomenal company, great teammates, wonderful, efficient operations, but I guarantee you that every day we find a way of doing something a little bit better. Nucor has a no layoff practice. I don't know how many of you are aware of that. And through this very, very challenging recession, we have not laid off a single employee, not one. Okay, we do not cut back hours. Now, the salaries get cut back because a large part of everyone's salary is bonus. And when the company does not produce high quality steel safely, when the tonnage that we produce goes down, then salaries go down. But everyone still worked. The reason I bring this up is because I'm often challenged by investors saying, is that a prudent policy to a practice to follow? And I respond all the time, it absolutely is. I visit our mills on a very, very regular basis, our operations all over the United States. And every time I go, our teammates, the guys on the floor, are always anxious to pull me over the one part of the plant or the other to show me something they did different. How they replaced the 10 horsepower motor with a 7 horsepower motor because that's all we really needed and that saves $38 a month in energy costs. Small steps, but steps. Continuous improvement. If we challenge ourselves and we challenge our teams to start each day by asking what can we do just a little bit better than we did yesterday. We will not repeat the mistakes that we've made in the past that got us into the position we are in today. So the short answer to your question, what did we do wrong? Do we bear some of the responsibility? We absolutely, absolutely do bear some of the responsibility for the situation we are in today. And it was our failure to stay focused on continuous improvement. John Wayne talked about tomorrow, okay, and the value of being able to start each day fresh, new, comes into us clean, perfect, okay? 
Don't miss the opportunity to make tomorrow a little bit better than yesterday. That's the mistake we made. Let's not repeat it.